What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo and today we're going to be crafting cards. But before we get into crafting cards, I thought I'd give you guys some advice on maybe how you would want to approach this. Now, the first thing that you want to think about is the cards that you're actually going to craft, which are the P cards, the cards with the little P's in the top left hand corner of them. And the five that you're looking at right now are the best for PVE other than the all new, all different Marvel card, which is this one here. This comes every once in a while in a blue moon. So if you had this card, you'd actually want to have this card and switch it with your white fox card. But if you don't have the all new, all different Marvel card, then this set that you're looking at right now is actually the best for the PVE. You'll get the best stats from these cards. Now I realize that some people are whales, some people are dolphins, some people are free to play. And depending on what kind of player you are, depending on where you at, are at in the game really depends on what you're going to be doing. The most important thing whenever you're crafting your cards or really even setting up your cards is to make sure that you have at least 30% ignore defense and you have 27% to 31% skill cooldown. Those are the two most important stats that you want to have an effect. And you know, ignore defense, a lot of people are always wondering what is ignore defense? What is it? Well, if you think about ignore defense in this way, Say you have two fighters, you got two boxers, right? And, you know, the one boxer is, you know, guarding, right? They got their hand up, they got their hand in front of their face. And the other boxer here has, you know, 50% ignore defense, which is the max ignore defense in the game. If he has 50% ignore defense, he's going to be bypassing that guard and hitting that other boxer in the face over and over and over, right? Because he's ignoring the fighter's defenses. He's ignoring that guard, if that makes any sense. That's why ignore defense is so important, because the higher your ignore defense, the more damage you're actually going to do. And in this game, max ignore defense is about 50%. And if you have 30 31% ignore defense on your cards, you're going to easily be able to max out your characters that don't have uniforms. Obviously, if they have uniforms, you can, go, you can get ignore defense and other stats from the uniform bonuses. But you want to make sure you can max out that ignore defense with relative ease just by slapping on a Power of Angry Hawk or Overdrive ISO 8 set. And, or maybe changing a blue stat on one of the gears so you can get that max ignore defense. So it's, it's just very important whenever you're setting up your cards to make sure you have you know enough ignore defense and enough kill, skill cooldown. And again, around 30% ignore defense is a good, pretty good sweet spot. I got about 35, which is really good. And that's really about... as as much as you need and then your skill cooldown make sure you have a minimum of about 27 percent but 31 percent is a real sweet spot for skill cooldown uh the next thing is you know a lot of us are in different places in the game you know free to plays can't be too picky and choosy about what p cards they have so a lot of times they'll just get you know maybe they just have one p card and that's the card they're going to crack because you, you just can't be too picky and choosy and i totally understand that you know, if you can be patient and you can wait and just keep trying to grind out your cards from the, if this thing would ever stop loading, and grind out your cards from the store here, you know, if you can keep grinding out these cards here, because all the best ones are available, except for the all new, all different Marvel card in here, if you can just be patient and wait and wait and wait and get one of those cards that I just showed you on my equip cards, that really would be the better route, but if you're impatient, if you're trying to get some peers quickly, then by all means, do what you do. You know, play the game how you want to play it. The next thing you want to do is you want to plan your cards. You want to plan what cards you're going to be doing with what. So, you know, currently, you know, I just showed you guys that 35% ignore defense, right? And I want to keep that ignore defense, and I'm actually going to be switching this white fox card with my all new, all different Marvel card. Now, if you notice on my white fox card here, I got ignore defense at 9% here. So I, and I got ignore defense on the orange stat here. So I actually have a total of 18% ignore defense on this card. So if I switch out this card for my all new, all different Marvel card, and then find it real quick here, you can see there is no ignore defense on this card. I think I could roll ignore defense on one of these stats. Yeah, I could roll Ignore Defense on its last stat, but this is at quality 7. And all these orange stats, like that 11%, whenever you craft your cards, all those other stats are going to be exactly the same as my physical and energy attack here. You know, all the stats that after you craft are going to be the same as the quality of the card that you have. So if you have 9% physical attack and energy attack on this card, then you're going to have 9% extra percent of whatever stat after you craft your cards. But... 
So if I put this card and switch it out with that White Fox card, then I'm going to lose a lot of ignored defense. I'm going to lose 18%, which is way too much. So my plan, and it's going to be different for everybody because we're all different stages in the game, is to craft the Luna card. The Luna card isn't crafted at all. You see I have all yellow stars. So this is the card that I need to be working on. And as you see, I have no ignore defense on this card either. Again, ignore defense cooldown are, are stats you want to maintain throughout. And then you just want to be gaining everything else. Especially all attack, energy attack, physical attack. You want to be gaining those as much as possible. A little dodge doesn't hurt. Critical damage, crit rate. And so I know I can get ignore defense from after I craft. I know I can get ignore defense, but... You know, depending on what kind of star it is, if it's a blue star, then I'm that's what I want. If it's a different color star and I get ignore defense, then we'll see. You know, you have to play this kind of by ear. You got to play it little by little. I also think that a, a good way to craft your cards is just doing one at a time. I think saving up over 10,000 cubes, 10,000 of these cubes here. We go to material. I think saving over 10,000 of these cubes down in the bottom here is the best way to go because it takes a little over 10,000 to be able to craft one full card and you do need 30 mythic cards to be able to do it. Now I do have 30 mythic cards, I am ready to go, but I think crafting one card at a time is the best way to go because you give yourself that time and then maybe you'll get lucky and actually get a P card, a P card that you need or want from the store. So now let's go ahead and combine this Luna card. So the first thing you want to do is, so, you know, whenever you hit combine, you know, you can actually use a regular card here. But when you combine your cards, you're actually changing your stats, right? You're going to actually change the stats. So we're going to cancel my selection. We're going to back out of here, right? You're actually changing these stats in the bottom, that 20% energy attack prop. I could change that. I could change that attack speed. The blue stats at the bottom are the stats that you can actually change. So you got to be careful of that. You know, you want to make sure when you're crafting, obviously you want to press craft, right? And when you craft, you're going to use five regular mythic cards. Now, uh, don't is make sure that you do not use a P card here. Whenever you're crafting just for your stars, you're just trying to get the blue stars, right? Don't use a P card. I've actually done this in the past. This is a mistake that you want to make sure you don't do yourself. And it's going to cost 400 cubes. So we're going to go ahead and get this. And I'm praying I get the stats that I want. And I'm really hoping I get ignored defense. So there we actually got a blue star. We got poison resist, which kind of sucks. But it's a blue star. So I'm definitely not complaining. That's exactly what I want. Let's see what we get here. Okay, a green star, lightning resist. Okay, that's crap. And I thought I'd, you know, try to explain this a little bit better for you guys, for you newer players out there. Oh, man, green star, not good, not good. We want the blue, we want the blue, we want more pierce. We at least want three blue stars. By the way, guys, if you get three blue stars on one card, you know, and you're aiming for PvE, you're trying to do better in World Boss, you're trying to do better in Squad Battle and Shadowland, of course, then, you know, once you get three stars, save up another month or save up another 40 days, whatever, to get enough cues to craft another card, and then just start working on another card if you have another p card if you only have one p card and you got three stars then maybe you just want to try to get six blue stars on that specific card but then you gotta start paying crystals okay so we got another blue stat i just want to make sure i don't craft a p card i'll be pissed if i put a p card in here because i've done that before okay so we have three blue stars we just gained another two percent pierce which is exactly what I wanted. But we're going to go ahead and finish the crafting here. And this last stat's really important because this is where you get all attack, energy attack, physical attack. Okay, so we got physical attack. Now, normally, what I would tell you guys to do is you would stop here and then work on your next card. But since this is, but since this card has physical attack in that green stat and it has those two blue stars for lightning resist, and physical defense and that physical defense is where I can get the ignored defense so I'm actually going to try to combine it again and I'm going to hit craft combine okay and when you craft combine then you have to use a P card 
And you, first of all, make sure you don't use a P card that you plan on using in the future. Make sure that you have the card locked. That way you get this notice that pops up. If you get this notice, maybe you'll look at it and be like, well, wait a minute, you know, do I need to use this card? Uh, do I need to use it for later? And you, it give, you know, it kind of makes you second guess what you're doing. Uh, so we're going to find a different card here. And I definitely know I'm not going to be using these, right? I'm actually not going to be using any of these cards because I already have the cards that I want. And we're going to select our option. Okay, so I really like that they changed the the interface of this. I think this is much better than what it was before. So all of these blue stars I want to keep. And if you had a certain stat, maybe it's a different color star, but you want to keep it and you've already got enough blue stars to gain that extra pierce. Well, then, you know, you'd probably just lock whatever stats you want to keep. So I want to definitely keep all of my blue stars. So I'm locking all of those, right? And now our rubies are going up. It's 50 rubies for every slot that you lock. But I want to leave the other green open, right? So we've locked all of our blue stars. We're going to hit craft combine, right? Here we go. And, and I like this because you actually can see, I can see that my blue stars have a little lock symbol below them. And that I'm like, okay, good. We're in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and hit this thing. And this is exactly what you want. Okay, so I didn't get any blue star again. And once again, I didn't get ignore defense. So we are actually going to do this one more time. We're going to throw this card up on there. We're going to hit select option. And we're going to lock those blue stars again. Okay. We're going to hit craft combine. I'm hoping to get ignore defense. Uh, that's really very, very important. So this kind of sucks. So I got a blue star where that ignore defense is actually at, and I got actually got all attack on the bottom slot. So this is kind of a, a bum deal, actually. So we're going to go ahead and try this again. I'll never use this card here. Select option. Lock the blue. Lock the blue. Okay. Let me look here. Okay. So I don't want to lock that one. This is where I can actually get ignored defense. Okay. Now I could lock the all attack if I really wanted to. Let me look at this. I'm going to go ahead and lock that too. Again, okay. So now, you know, you look at the situation that I'm in right now. I got a stat that's blue, a blue star, but it's not the stat that I want. I want ignore defense here. So I'm not locking it. I'm just going to take the chance of losing the color because right now that's what I care about. I care about getting more ignore defense because I want to switch that white fox card out for the all new, all different Marvel card. And if I don't get ignore defense on this, that's going to make life pretty difficult for me. Although I could just leave this card. You know what? Actually, I could just leave this card the way that it is. Keep that blue stat. Keep that all attack, right? Because I just did, I just did gain two percent pierce and some all attack, and I could actually well not this one because it's got all blue stars. This has got a blue star on it, but I could actually re-roll this card. Now, see, this is the thing. This card also has all attack, and it's got a green staff for where that ignore defense is. And so I could either re-roll this card, or I could re-roll the Luna card. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and just re-roll the Luna card. We're going to hit Craft Combine, and we're going to slap in a card here. We're going to select our option, and we're going to lock the first one, third one, and all these. And I'm really debating if I want to keep that all attack or not. Do I want to keep the all attack? Again, this is ignore defense. Oh, man. See, and this is the thing about crafting. You're just, you know, like, oh, man, should I do it? Should I not? You know, you know, you might screw yourself. And having that all attack is nice. Uh, that's really going to help my ABX scores. But at the same time, you know, whenever you re-roll these, you kind of, sometimes you want to re-roll them all at once. You know, actually, I'm going to go ahead and keep the all attack. And I'm going to craft combine it now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so look at this. So I got another blue star, but I still didn't get that damn ignore defense. Which is a real bummer. And now I'm out of cubes. So I can't do this again. I'm going to have to save up some more cubes to try to go further. So I did gain 2% pierce. I did gain some all attack, which is good. I mean, we got some resist, but... They're kind of useless, except for the fire resist against Mephisto. That's actually really, that's actually really good. So right now, all my cards 
I actually have 70% all attack. So that means I have 113% energy attack. And then I got an energy attack proc still. And my physical attack, I got 70%. And then I got, so I, now I got 96% physical attack. So that should help. And my ignore defense, my cooldown is pretty much the same as it was. Again, that's the most important thing. Maintain your stats when you're crafting your cards. Figure out, you know, hey, if I switch a card, can I gain stats from crafting? Or will I get the stats I need from the actual stats on the card? Before you go switching out your cards, you know, a lot of times what I do is I write down all of my card effects here. And then I just figure out, you know, what's going to happen if I switch a card uh, with another card? You know, what stats am I losing? What stats am I gaining? And I go from there. So hopefully this will help some of you out out there as far as crafting your cards. And I do stream on Twitch at Reset. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.